Hello everyone and welcome back to Backpack Battles. I couldn't stay away, alright? Enough people were interested in seeing at least the Berserker class. So here we are with another episode chasing the tail of the last one. And again, we're going to be checking out the Berserker. Now, a quick check into uh, the specifics of the Berserker. It is a requirement for any Berserker to be rough, tough and angry. During the feared battle rage, Berserkers become a force of nature. They like punching metal with a hammer. Class specific items are the axe, the duffel bag, forging hammer, spiked collar, and cheese. I don't really know what to make of that, but sure, okay, let's uh, go <laughs> our cheesy berserker. Right, okay, so, uh, opening up, we have the duffel bag here. Health drops below 50%, you enter a battle rate for five seconds, once, and only once. So, if you heal back up over 50%, you can't go into a second battle, ra battle rage by dropping below it again. Uh, during battle rage, items inside trigger 30% faster, and you take 20% reduced damage, which actually sounds pretty good. We've got a lot of backpack space right out the door. All right, then. Uh, we've got a spear on sale. Now, the thing with the spears, for every uh, space above, uh, so the starred spaces, you'll destroy four armor for each one. So if you've got all five available, you'll destroy 20 armor every 1.5 seconds, assuming you hit, of course. But uh, that is actually very, very, very tempting indeed. Uh, well, given that, what we could do is something like this. Uh, that would give us a, a nice bit of damage at the top. And it doesn't really matter right now because we have no better options, really. Uh, this uses zero stamina, which is an interesting one. Uh, that's 0 0.7. This is 0 0.7. Between the two would be 1.4. Look, I am personally in favor of using up all of your stamina. Now, this might be a, a misplay in this particular game, but it's a habit that I have from RTS days. Resources that you're not spending are effectively wasted resources. That isn't always the case if you're playing something like Red Alert, where you need the entire you know, cost of the unit before you start building the unit. But something like Supreme Commander, which is the RTS that I kind of grew up playing, uh, you spend them as they're coming in. It's a it's a constant process. So anything that's just sitting in the, the uh, storage silos is just not doing anything for you. So uh, I'm thinking of going for the broom, and we'll have the two of them together right out the gate. Now, this one doesn't really need to be in any particular location specifically, so we might get a bit more bang for bang. Well, there's no real way of me making this work where I can get two things hit for the whetstone, but I'll pick up the whetstone as well, and we'll uh, buff the spear there. Now, the broom, opponent misses an attack. You get plus two damage for the next attack you do, again, assuming you hit. And on a hit, there's a 35% chance to inflict blindness, which decreases the enemy's accuracy by 5%, which is actually quite a nice one. We could also pick up the rock, and as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, anything that costs one, you may as well just grab and have your money do something in the next battle, because you can always sell it for one guaranteed. So you can always get full refund on it in the next uh, in the next shop. So you may as well use that one coin for something. Right, okay, let's jump into the fight and see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, we're up against a pyromancer with a broom, a wooden sword, three flames. They've got a customer card already, so investing early on. Now, the way that the um, the kind of uh, matchmaking works, I think you only fight against someone who's at the same stage, the same level of uh, of their journey as you are. So this is probably that person's opening hand. So they already invested in a uh, customer card, which is an interesting buy right out the gate. They're, they're playing the long game there. Right, okay, we've got a backpack. Obviously, we need this straight away. Uh, we could also pick up the coal, I suppose. Oh, um... What do I get for a... Because I apparently... I'm fairly certain I know what it is. Ah, a shovel. On hit, 40% chance to inflict blind, so it's up from the uh, from the broom. Uh, stamina cost is the same. Cooldown is, a l I think, a little bit slower. Let's have a look at the broom. Uh, cooldown is 1.7, yeah. The broom builds into other things, though, but the shovel has another advantage in that when you enter the shop with the shovel, you'll dig up a random item. That might not be a bad play for us this early on. 
Uh, I'm willing to go for it, actually, yeah. Okay, so we'll just go ahead, pop this down here, and this way I can pop these two together, and that one's going to get a buff. We are hopelessly over stamina cost now. This is actually a painful one for us. Uh, I've got one gold, so I'm going to re-roll and see what we get. Uh, we've got the hammer there. Nothing really that I want, but I wouldn't mind picking up a buckler, so I'm going to reserve that one for us. We may well lose this next fight purely because we're not going to be hitting very often. I'm not going to be able to guarantee what weapon I'm going to use in any particular attack. Uh, you already got a bit of a buff there to health. Is that something that is uh, new for you? I wonder why you got a buff to health there. Because it came from something... Ah, a piggyback. Oh, okay. Uh, extra health per... Let's have a look there. Uh, for each start item at the start battle. Oh, I, I wasn't aware of that being a uh, change to the bigger bank. Okay, you may also notice that I've got the fights going through a little bit slower so people can follow along and, and see what's what, what's happening. So that was a nice little victory there, and we've now got our shovel. Okay, well, not too terribly bad. We've also got a fanny pack, which is really, really quite nice. I think I will, in fact, take you. Uh, but I'm going to want to use the fanny pack to boost my weapon. So let me quickly reorganize things. Let's grab that, pull everything out in one go. There we are. We'll pop the fanny pack right there. This way, both of these weapons can slide in. There we are. And now they're only taking up one slot to get uh, the various benefits on the backpacks, which is something I always particularly like. Uh, now, using you is going to be a little bit of a tricky one. Especially if I want the shield as well. And I do want the shield as well. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected to the duffel bag because the duffel bag only gives us attack speed. So, if I were instead to pop it down here somewhere, would I have enough? Mm, no, I wouldn't even be able to buy it if I, if I did that. Okay, well, I could in that case do this and just... Pop that down there. There we go. We get a little bit of extra protection. Also, we'll have a bit of stamina drain on our opponents, which is never a bad thing, in my opinion. We'll pop these in there, and I guess uh, what I could do is just slide these up. There we go. Now, these weapons gain one damage. This is in exchange for this weapon triggering 30% faster if it's in here, which might be more worth it, but I, I like that these two are getting a, a bonus there. Now, if I had two wet stones, the wooden sword might be an option. And since it's on sale, I will reserve it just in case. But uh, these are really not that useful in the, in the coming battle. That being said, actually, I could pick this up. Uh, what's my stamina use? My stamina use is already a bit high. I wouldn't want to take another sword just yet. But these two together, selling them would buy me the sword, which is an option. All right, let's jump into the next fight. See how our new setup goes. Uh, we should be able to strip armor down fairly convincingly at this point. You've got a hungry blade, which means that uh, you gained one vampirism, and on hit you use regeneration to add to your vampirism. You don't have a way of generating regeneration, though, so that isn't too much of an issue for me. There we are, we've got a bit of a clonk there. Uh, they're not having any opportunity to build up their stamina, but they are pulling my health down faster than I'm able to pull theirs down, sadly. Stamina was a bit of an issue there. All right, let's go ahead and have a look at what we got. And we dug up garlic. I mean, of the things... Ooh, okay, so bag of stones. Interesting, considering we've got two stones. Now, the uh, way the bag of stones works, stones above them can be thrown repeatedly. These are zero stamina items, and when they hit something, they destroy armor. So this is becoming a bit of a uh, very armor-negating build, if you... Uh, uh, kind of randomly. Uh, I'm going to want a backpack for this, obviously. Uh, given this, let's go ahead and... Well, there's no easy way of me doing this, but let's go ahead and pop these down here. That way, this benefits from the uh, bonus from the duffel bag, and I may as well just slide that one on in there as well. Uh, does this... Yeah, it's only the starred items. It doesn't have stars further up, otherwise we could have perhaps added more stones. Now, I would like to grab the walrus tusk so we can upgrade our wooden buckler in time. I will grab that and reserve it for now. And uh, the next, we will keep this in reserve for the time. I will buy it, but uh, next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the fight. These are now part of our build. Uh, there are things, I think there's a way of upgrading this even further. I, I don't remember though. We'll have to see. 
Uh, there we go. They have managed got the hero sword, which is what you get from the wooden sword if you manage to use two whetstones with it. We aren't doing fantastically well. Well, that being said, we are pulling down their health a little bit faster, but it's more, I would say, that their build doesn't really have uh, much going on in terms of its buffs. That being said, neither does ours. Ours is more about taking away other people's buffs than giving buffs to, to us. Uh, right, well, we could grab the Box of Riches, I think. Oh, yeah, we will absolutely grab these. And this is going to give us our Hero Sword. Okay, well, that's not too bad at all. However, I do now need to get myself a backpack. And there we go. Wow. Ask and ye shall receive, apparently. Uh, now, how would I like to set this up? Now, we've got a very item-heavy build at this point, and there's so many weapons around that I want. My lord. Hungry Blade would be nice if we had a way of generating uh, regeneration, because then we could convert it into, uh, into vampirism. Preserving something that expensive, though. A Goobit's also quite a nice one, because it's uh, flat heels. Hmm... What am I? I'm gonna be getting rid of something. I I need to to shed something at this point. Uh, I like the shovel. The shovel is giving us free free loot, and I like free loot. Um, but it is gonna be using as much as the the sword is, and I've already got a way of stripping away armor. So let's do a little bit of something something. These can now trigger a little bit faster. Um, I think, yeah, getting rid of the spear, and that'll also free up a bunch of space above as well. Uh, let's go ahead, pop you down here, make sure that wet stones are active on you. There we go. And jobs are good, and uh, that can slide down. We can now actually slide this all the way up if we would like to, and there's no particular reason why I need something in a certain position there, so that gives us the ability to pop that in as well. Now, what is this going to synergize with? This will synergize with the health potion, not something we actually need. And I, well, I mean, I don't need this, so I can just shed it, but I wouldn't be able to do anything with the money yet. So on the off chance there's something that we find that will synergize with this, we will actually keep hold of it for now. All right, jumping into the next fight. Okay. They've got an acorn collar. Items, uh, start items getting 5% critical hit chance for each luck, which is something that this, the ranger build specifically builds. They've got the Platinum Plus uh, customer card. How do you get this? Don't tell me, by the way. I, it, it, I'm say, I'm shouting that into the void. I'm not expecting the void to answer back. <laughs> but uh, I have seen a couple of people with this, and I can see the slot in the recipes list, but I just don't know what I'm going to need to mix with. Maybe it's two cards together. It could be something as simple as that. I'll have to have a watch of that. But okay, that one wasn't too bad. They did have a decent bit of regeneration towards the end, but the shovel is actually doing some work in getting those blinds in. I do appreciate that one quite a lot. Right, okay, we managed to dig up some coal. Beautiful. And that would merge with a dragon's egg. Also beautiful. Now, the hero sword, much better. At the start of battle, uh, start weapons, gain two damage. Uh, in that case, you know, we as well uh, make sure that plenty of weapons have that two damage. Ah, this is where the stones come in. Now, I would love if I could get this down there as well, but I can't. So I'm just going to pop that in. Mm. Because this, this is really going to pay off. Now, that extra two damage on stones is a huge, huge gain for us. Uh, is there a way that I can make this work for us? I think there is. I'm just going to have to do some uh, finagling, though. So let's shove these up like so uh have that in there the hero sword up well the hero sword kind of needs to go lengthways unfortunately um yeah I, it's gonna have to use up both of those channels which isn't ideal yeah i really need like a regular duffel bag or something like that to make this work the way i want it to but for now i think this is going to be okay because it's going to give us much faster acting stones that cost no stamina and that's the thing i'm really keying in on there i'm going for the the fact that these are weapons that cost me nothing to use and so i want to use them frequently uh we will pop back in the garlic we will have you i could pop this in 70 percent chance to deal a bit of extra damage uh sure i can pop that there in fact we can also go for a dragon build which i am absolutely all for 
There we go. This is going to synergize with the uh, dragon's egg, and I'm imagining it's just going to catch on fire. But this dagger would go perfectly there, because we are now only medium stamina usage, despite having three weapons, soon to be a fourth and a fifth, potentially. And the stamina usage isn't going to increase as a consequence of this. Still, I'm just a little bit shy of being able to get what I want, but let's uh, let's go ahead and invest it anyway. I've got that reserved. Let's see what else I can, might be able to find. Not going to be useful for us, unfortunately. Anything else really that wants to jump out at us? I mean, I could pick up the pocket sand. Uh, can't say no to a little bit of pocket sand. There we go. Let's go ahead and jump into the battle then. We will easily get the, the money for the dagger here. Now, they've got a shovel themselves. So, the oh, pocket sand didn't actually catch you. I think you might have been able to negate one negative or you cleansed it. Either way, uh, we're both using the same primary weapon, but you are stacking poison and slow, uh, unfortunately for me. Uh, but we should be able to get through this. The fact that you got a chipped sapphire, though, I guess you dug that up, because typically you don't even get gems from the shop until you have the box of treasures in your inventory. So the fact that they haven't got a box of treasures means that this shovel more than likely pulled that out of the ground for them. Now, every time they hit me, they're taking a little bit of extra damage, but they have actually managed to put more... Uh, blind on me than me on them. We've just ended Battle Rage, so we had a bit of a damage reduction as well, so we were really going to win that fight. There wasn't really much they were going to be able to do about it. Now that we've got Burning Coal, however, 12% chance on attack to deal plus 6 damage and gain a, uh, a flame there as well. Now, what's the fastest acting weapon that I have? That's 1.4, 3.5, 2.4. Okay, then the, it's in the right place. Let's have a gander over here. I've got another one. Wow, okay. Um, oh, I, I suppose it would set on fire because of the burning coal, which is kind of cool. I would love to grab the Jinx uh, Tokila. I, I'm not sure if I'm pr pronouncing that right. Uh, Tokia. Uh, every three seconds, items in the cone down there trigger 5% faster. So this is great to have on uh, covering most of your weapons. Uh, something like this would allow us to get a lot of items to trigger faster, which is fantastic, up to a total of 40. Now, that is huge. Uh, right now, it's not what we're going to be going for, but it is definitely something I would like to get. So I'm going to reserve it. We'll see if we can... Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we're getting plenty of uh, speed backpacks, uh, speed pouches, rather. In that case, we'll shimmy that one down a little bit, and this is actually starting to look like a possibility. Uh, let's keep going. Let's see what else we might find. We've got another dagger. I mean, I guess I could go for a pure dagger build, but I'm not really feeling that right now. We've also got a corrupted crystal right now. Opponents below 30% uh, health. Uh, our we this weapon will deal plus 50% damage. If put in armor, seven debuffs inflicted gain some uh, uh, block, so us inflicting debuffs on the enemy. We've also got the piggy bank. Uh, do I really want this? I've got no good place to put it. Otherwise, I might have gone for it. But I really don't have any good place to put it. I do want the bag, though. And, I mean, the Corrupted Crystal isn't a terrible uh, choice. Um, we don't have the large hammer. The Piggy Bank interacts with a large hammer in that you can smash it for money. But uh, we don't want to do that right now. Now, I think this is pretty much all we are going to play with for the time being. We've got nothing else that we can really uh, bounce off anything else. So let's go ahead and just jump into the next fight. We'll see what we can do. This is basically a two... Uh, two trip plan there because we're not going to be able to afford both in the same trip to the shop Now you've already got regeneration and vampirism. You do have a bit of blind there though You've got an upgraded double axe which does a whomping great deal of damage. I must confess It's a very very frightening weapon that one plus you've got a bit of health steal on it You've also got dragon scale armor which means during battle rage you take even less damage than usual uh, hopefully we're going to be able to pull this back, but I no, I think it's very unlikely with that much damage coming my way, even though I am doing more attacks and my attacks are a lot less expensive, uh, that one just won out there. Right, we've got the Ruby Whelp. At the start of battle, we gain some, uh, some uh, heat and also will reflect two debuffs. I think I would rather have this in a weapon 
so that I am going to have a greater... Well, actually, I want the weapon that's got the best... Oh, they've all got a pretty good chance of attacking, actually. All right, well, I want it down here, then, as that one's going to be attacking a little bit faster, so that we can build that up a bit quicker. Now, we've got a couple of options over here. We've got the pack leader. This would start showing us wolves, which are actually super cute. Uh, oh, genuinely super cute. Here they are. I've only seen two of the wolves, the armored power puppy and the, well, these are the crafted versions, and the armored wisdom puppy. Uh, no idea what that puppy is. Uh, we've got the shaman. Runes are offered in the shop. Start a battle, gain one luck for each socketed gemstone, and every three seconds use two luck to gain five random buffs. That's actually quite a potent one. Blacksmith, when an item is crafted, you generate a flame. For each crafted item, the star, sorry, the uh, gemmed item, so all the stars around it and then the gem right at the top there, uh, will gain plus two dam uh, damage and use 5% less stamina. Which is quite an interesting one if you've got a very stamina hungry weapon. Got the chief done. Damage taken reduced by 10%. Battle rage lasts. 0.5 seconds longer for each nature item around it and it's got a lot of nature items kind of in the the um, design of its antlers there and every one second during battle rage heal for seven health and gain two mana quite an interesting one and then finally the brass knuckles damage is three to five it's zero stamina cost every 1.6 seconds but on hit there's a 30 percent chance to stun for 0 0.5 seconds this and starred items gain plus five accuracy and and five crit chance and during battle rage this triggers 50 percent faster so a way of stunning our opponents that is a really tempting uh tempting item there really tempting actually hmm i think this might be the one that we go for it's not the cheapest one but it doesn't need to be as long as it will work in our build. Uh, right, so I've got a bit of an idea. Mm -hmm. We are going to do this. And we are going to rotate the knuckles thusly. Okay, so they've all got a bit more crit and a bit more accuracy. I mean, I could bring it down to the stones as well, but uh, I think we will avoid that one for now. Uh, we've got the gin lamp over here. Every two seconds, gain luck, thorns, or mana, depending on what you have the least of. And once you have seven of all of them and seven blocks, you do need a way of generating block. And 27 health, you will give the starred weapon 27 extra damage. <laughs> it is broken if you can get this to work. Absolutely broken. Um, tempting, because it's on sale as well. Uh, right, well... Do we have a way of actually generating block, though? Our shield doesn't generate block. Uh, on attack, 35% chance to prevent 12 damage, removes it one set of the stamina. I don't think we've got any way of generating block right now. So we would need something that could create it. I've got a way of destroying it, but not a way of creating it. Hmm. That is a bit of a problem. I would like it though. I would struggle to find somewhere to put it, however. I guess I could have it facing the hammer for the time being and just move this down here, that up there. Yeah, sure, I can I can fit that in for the time for now, but it really is more a case of I'm putting it there because I've got nowhere better to put it. Um, that said. No, I'd need an extra backpack in order to bring everything else down. Okay, well, I can use this one uh, one gold to re-roll something. We've got Goobert over here. Uh, Goobert will synergize with the hero sword, and I believe that creates steel Goobert. Uh, oh, actually, when weapons gain plus... Uh, sorry, um, the gemmed weapons gain plus two damage, and uh, every time five items activate and generates block... Okay, so asking you shall receive. Uh, this is Cheese Goobert, by the way. It is. It has now become clear to me that every class has their own specific Goobert, and the the uh, Berserker has Cheese Goobert. I don't even. Uh, however, we are gonna. Well, I'm reserving a lot if I do that. That's an extremely expensive reservation. 
I don't think we're going to have the room for this, so I'm going to reserve Goobit instead. It will get rid of my Hero Sword, however, which does suck a bit, because this is right now giving a lot of oomph to my other weapons. But, uh, once again, let's have a quick look at Goobit. This would, I mean, it would give the starred weapons plus two damage and will continue to increase it. So, as long as you can pair it with fast acting items on the left and the right, the items to the top and the bottom will gain more damage overall than the Hero Sword is currently dishing out. That isn't too bad. I could also go for the Hero Long Sword as well if I could uh, manage to build up to that. But uh, I don't think we're going to be going with that one. All right, Goobert is in reserve, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the fight. Okay. All right, what have you got over here? You've got a uh, bow with an emerald, so you're going to be trying to inflict poison. You've also got an arrow, another bow, and you've got vampiric gloves. Okay, you've already got five vampires, and we're actually starting to generate a nice amount of heat there. Okay, not bad at all. We uh, managed to do that fight handedly. Very, very nice. Uh, what did we build up to? We, we barely built up to anything, actually. Uh, we do need this to be supplemented with other things, helping it out, or the battle to go on for ages. And we don't really want the battle to go on for ages, I'm going to be honest. Uh, right, what did we get? We got some more stones. Well, I mean, you know, it's not awful. I can at least sell it. I can also pick up the impractically large greatsword. While you have at least five power, you decrease the stamina usage to three and the cooldowns to three. I, <laughs> hmm, this uses up one stamina a second by itself. I think no. Is I, I kind of want to because I can very clearly see that that turns into this. And let's be honest, this is clearly the Buster Sword. But I don't think that's what we're going to be going for in this run. I don't think I can make that work with what the other options that I have available to me. Uh, we could pop you up there, turn both of these around, get a bit of extra bonus from that. I still need a larger backpack, though. Oh, Patinga. Now you are really tempting me, game. This is rather unfair. Um... I do want to upgrade Goobert, though. That is a that is a given. We very much want upgraded Goobert. Uh, is there something I can do? Some way that I can finagle this to make that happen? Uh, I don't really see it, but I, I would need so much extra room to get you into this fight that I'm going to say, as much as it pains me, I'm going to have to say no. Right, let's pick up the stamina sack. If we could get... Yeah, that would actually help out. That would, in fact, make some other um, setups over here quite viable. All right, give me a few seconds. I think I can re uh, rearrange this to move the gin lamp into a better position. Okay, there we go. So, Goobert is now in the proper location. Uh, oh, wow, you... You synergize with Goobert? Do you? Oh yes, of course you do. You, you become Blood Goobert. At the start of battle, you gain two vampirism, and then every six item activations, you steal ten life, and then that is increased for each vampirism you have. Better if you have a way of actually adding vampirism yourself. Uh, but this will give us the synergy on Goobert straight away, um, and then we can move things around a little bit more, get the Ruby Whelp in place. I am having to take out the Garlic for this fight, but I don't think that's too much of a problem for this one. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, we've got a Chieftain build over over here, so uh, your battle rage is going to last a little bit longer, and you will heal during it, which is a bit of a concern. Uh, that being said, we managed to pull your health down a lot faster than you're pulling ours down, so we should hopefully be okay. Uh, you, the fact that you're healing for so much longer is a bit of a problem, but we've just entered our battle rage. You're still in yours, which is an issue, because I'm having to try and overcome your healing while in battle rage as well. Okay, there we go. And the uh, stun uh, did trigger a few times in there, so that worked out for us in the end. Oh, we've got, actually got a, an emerald. There we go. So we've got Steel Goobert. Now, we want Steel Goobert to be set up a little bit differently. Uh, let's leave that there. There we go. 
And we are going to want Goobit in here, I'm going to say. We want this. Wow. That. Actually, yeah, activation's over here. But this is technically a weapon, isn't it? If I pop it there, yes, it does, it does get triggered on that. So I'm going to want to make sure that my weapons are up here. In a position where... Well, I've got to try and maximize the things activating Goobert. Whilst also making sure all my weapons are in the right positions. These two are, are guaranteed down there. I think the brass knuckles happening faster makes a lot of sense. Uh, because it doesn't cost any stamina for me to have them trigger. And also, this will increase the odds of me getting a stun. Which I would be very, very interested in. Uh, I would also, if I pop in, maybe have the knuckles and the dagger ha activate that little bit faster. I think this will work out well for us. Let's uh, shimmy this across, move the dagger up. There we go. Now I need to make sure that this triggers as fast as we can. These are slow activating, unfortunately. Uh, this activates however fast I'm being attacked, so that one isn't too bad. But I can also, if I can finagle it, do something like this. If we popped you up there. Ruby Welp is now getting a benefit from the Brass Knuckles, and well, I mean, would Ruby Welp be better from Goobert? Again, doesn't cost me any stamina. Well, I think everything here doesn't cost me stamina at this point, though. So, maybe there isn't really a play there to be done. But, could I get you up there? I wonder. Maybe. I can possibly just move these around a little bit. Now, it's Sort of a waste, in a sense, to have the back, the uh, the fanny pack there, as it's not going to directly benefit me. But having this there, yeah, because you you want to make the most individual items touch only one tile as you can. That works, and we've now got three weapons being buffed there. Uh, that's okay for now, I think. Uh, we can also uh, move this down like so. Have you pointing up there? Uh, that would. We don't want that activate uh, being the one that tries to activate. What are you interact? Ooh. Uh, I think this one makes the yes the chain whip deal plus one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent on hit. Remove two random buffs from your opponent and during battle rage additionally heal for eight, but only once from what I can tell. Uh, or unless this heals you every time it hits during Battle Rage, which might actually be quite amazing, but uh, not what we're going for right now. Okay, that's not a terrible setup there. Uh, we still need something to trigger a little bit more often, though, for you. Now, using the food in this way, not ideal, because they're not getting a food buff, and that's really what we want right now, but it should be okay. Uh, you will have a small chance to have poison fire breath, which I think is actually kind of cool. And I guess we could pick up an extra garlic. Right now our stamina use is actually quite low though. Maybe going for this isn't a bad idea. Um, though I would really have to move things around in order to get that to work. That would be a very, very difficult thing to position because it takes up so much space. That said, uh, let's just double check what it does. So again, we w wouldn't be getting the thorns that it adds, which is actually quite a powerful one. Uh, still, removing random buffs on my opponent would be a very, very welcome ability. I'll buy it since it's on sale. We can just keep it down there for now. And uh, maneuver a couple of things around. Let's see what else we can get. The pineapple is great because this one gives thorns naturally. Could grab the gloves. Start a ba battle. Items trigger 20% faster. Could have that triggering there. Having it trigger on this would also be kind of cool. Uh, but ultimately, it's the uh, it's the fanny pack we want. Um, sure, I can pick this up and sell it for two. Uh, next turn. Just having that little 20% faster on the shovel is not going to be unwanted. Alright, let's get into the fight. Yeah. Okay, you've got Poison Ivy. You have a 5% chance to resist debuffs for each nature item, which is all of them. All of the, the uh, stars are nature items. And uh, you 
Uh, thorns gained, you inflict two poison. Ouch, okay. So what's giving you thorns? Uh, this one, okay. <laughs> That's not a great, great thing for me. You get a buff and I get a debuff in equal measure. However, looks like the amount of damage that we were able to output is a little bit more convincing there. Uh, glowing Crown, every 2.5 seconds, cleanse blindness and heal for five. That's very nice. If you've got uh, mana, 10 mana, specifically, you can become invulnerable for two seconds, but only once. That is actually really, really quite nice. That would be better down here as an item to trigger. The fact that that gives healing as well. Really very tempting. Not what I'm going to go for, but hopelessly tempting. Uh, to get this in position, I basically need... I could do it, but I would have to drop my shield for now and the gin lamp in order to get it converted the gin lamp i don't think is actually triggering that often so it's not a difficult one for me to say okay to uh, let's pop that around like this there we go uh, this would apparently synergize with this as well uh have i got anything else that's potentially synergizing ah right of course yeah this uh we can just pop that in there and it will actually activate for us uh, we'll pop that in here as well. And at this point, well, I guess I could pop that down. Uh, it does give us buffs, which are, are quite nice. Uh, is there anything else I particularly want here? No, not yet. We are going to reserve the crown, though, because I would like the uh, the healing that that offers. Don't need this. Uh, keep rolling. Want to find more backpacks right now. There we go. One backpack Please and indeed thank you. You can slide back down there and we can get these back in position. There we are. Not too terribly bad, all things said and done. We've still got four. Uh, and we can pick this up as well. Okay, that is actually really quite nice. <laughs> Again, that is not a good position for any of these, but we'll just live with that one. Uh, holy armor, though. I start a battle game, a wallop load of block and gain two regeneration. Not a bad choice for us. Not a bad choice for us at all, actually. Um, the regeneration... We'd need more holy items. Which we don't have. And there's no... Well, I guess this would be holy, so they would synergize. Uh, however, the big thing for me here is the fact that this would cleanse poison. Now, that's a... That's, Eight tiles worth of stuff that I'm dedicating to just having that set up. That is a lot of lot of uh, future rerolls of the shop in uh, kind of in our immediate future. Uh, so not great for our economy, but we'll see how it goes. I've already got some poison over there. Got a lot of buffs stacking up, but we are going through our stamina hopelessly fast. However. One thing with this build is a lot of our weapons don't use stamina. So yes, this one isn't triggering too often. But we do have plenty of attacks still happening. That being said, we are losing health sharpish. They've got a lot of gems on their items and they've got a nice vampirism sword as well. We still managed to win though. I'm kind of shocked. Very shocked. We had some nice heat build up there. They had a lot of spikes though. That was draining... Quite aggressively, I would say. Let's have a look at our weapon. So, our knuckles were doing 11 to 13 damage. Our uh, dagger was doing uh, yeah, 10 to 13. The stones were doing 10 to 12. Okay, that that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. The steel goobert was really, really working for us there. Really working for us. I like it. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh, got another gem. Nice. Got another burning coal. Also nice. Uh, well, I guess I'll leave that in there. Possibly. Maybe. Um, we've now got the chain whip. Which I really would love if I could prevent from using up both slots of that right there. But I'm not sure that that's going to happen. Ruby Whelp is the better choice here because Ruby Whelp doesn't take any... Uh, energy to, uh, sorry, any stamina to you, so it's always going to attack. Uh, but we'll just set that one up for now. Right, at this point, I want to grab the crown, because I can already fit the crown in. 
So now we can just pop it down here for no particular reason. Um, but this one is what we're going to be grabbing next. So now I need to find the necessary room for it to make that build happen. I mean, honestly, I could get rid of quite a lot of these. Uh, how often do you trigger? Every 2.5 seconds, which is faster than that. So let's pop you up there and you can trigger on, uh, you can help trigger Goobit. Uh, Wolpertinger, amazing, obviously, but not what we're aiming for right now. Uh, let's go for another roll. We've got cheese down here, legendary. Every four seconds, gain 10 maximum health and a random debuff. Every four seconds, rather. Uh, we've got, ooh. Corrupted crystal and the holy art. Ooh. I bet that's this. I am shockingly tempted. The whole point of me taking this, though, is to <laughs> synergize with the crown. <laughs> However, however, look, I'm curious, all right? Uh, this is still using way too much, uh, way too much uh, stamina here. Uh, we're pulling out 1.7. I've got no way of gaining stamina. I could say goodbye to the shovel, I suppose. But I would stop digging up items, which isn't great. Um... This has the potential to become really horrifically powerful. I think it may be time for us to say goodbye to the shovel. All right, let me reorder things. Okay, there we go. I think this is going to work out better for us. We are getting rid of the shovel at this point. Our stamina usage is low because we're using exactly as much stamina as we generate. Uh, so if anything causes us to lose some stamina, perhaps uh, defense, um, like us hitting a shield, then ultimately, as long as we don't hit the shield more frequently than we can swing this weapon, then we should be okay. Uh, but we have now got a couple of other options open to us. Specifically, I've got this slot open right now, the uh, double, um, so 20% faster activation. Uh, I could maybe finagle the Box of Riches as well. And at this late stage, going for Box of Riches, maybe not the best use, but I also don't necessarily think it's a, 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 a bad use right now. Um, Especially since it's on sale, I can always sell it back once I've got a couple of extra gems. We've just lost our ability to generate uh, extra items thanks to uh, getting rid of the shovel, so getting a couple of gems in here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We haven't got many places to put them, but once we've got this, we'll have three extra spots. Though uh, I don't know what it's going to look like when we've corrupted it. Alright, with that done, let's go ahead. We're going to need a wall upload more space to be able to make this work. Ah, oh, look, very festive. Uh, you've gone for Yggdrasil Leaf. Start a battle, gain one mana and one regeneration for each niche item, and all quite a few of them are set up correctly. Uh, we're doing okay. We are uh, going through our stamina uh, a little bit faster than I would like, but we're getting some very nice uh, buffs down here. Now, one of the problems is that the faster we attack, that doesn't give us a faster regeneration on stamina. So the fact that we were acting that much faster probably wasn't the best thing. But uh, by the end of it, our chain whip was doing 20 to 25 damage. And I imagine a good bit of that came from removing uh, debuffs on our... Uh, sorry, yeah, buffs on our enemy, which is, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, we had a decent amount of healing coming through. Yeah, overall... Quite, quite a good one. Didn't even have to enter Battle Rage. So obviously we're going to continue trying to survive. Uh, there is the potential for us to earn a lot less um, ranking tokens, but I'm fine with that. I think this is a reasonably good build so far. Now, we've got a faster attack. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. 10% uh, chance to resist a stun, 4% chance to prevent a hit from being a critical. I mean, you know, it's not great, but... Uh, however, what I really ultimately want is to get you set up. Now, to do that, you don't yet have the room to do it properly, sadly. What I could do, I suppose, is reorganize these a little bit. Pop you up there and pop you there. There we go, Dragon Claws. Now, with that done, hmm, I would need to move everything across by one. Thankfully, quite easy to do. You just do that. Bomp. There you go. And then we'll drop this one down, grab you, pop you in position. This would sell for a measly one, so we're still a little bit 
off from this, but that's fine for now. We'll have that one in position, ready for the Corrupted Crystal to come into play. Uh, pop it around like that. Okay, not too terribly bad, I think. The fact that the only food that we're carrying around is, is, is garlic right now. Uh, marvelous. We are the anti-vampire. Uh, right, nothing else for us to do. I could re-roll a couple of times, but I think I'm just going to keep the cash and we'll see if we can pick up the crystal in the next round of shopping. That is a very interesting name you got there. They're going hard on the extra money and the shop card as well. Yeah, they they are definitely aiming to get the most amount of re-rolls and the best gear from the shop they possibly can. We've almost stripped them completely of their vampirism here. So uh, the fact they've got the bloody dagger is not really helping them at all. Not bad there, not bad. Up to five more rounds. Wow. Okay, that's uh, that's a find. 35% faster attack speed, 35% chance to resist a stun. Okay, uh, I, I definitely, I see you and I approve. Um, but ultimately, gotta go for this. Now, I love the fact that they can now have that if you socket them. I would like to give you lifesteal, but I just noticed something that we could do to further improve our whip a little bit more. There we go. Pop you down there. There we are. Something along these lines would be very much appreciated. That's now getting 30% extra attack speed. That is glorious. Now this one is unfortunately now a little bit away but we can just pop that in it's not getting the 20% it's only getting 10% now but I think giving the the chain whip an extra 10% attack speed that is a huge boost for us almost tempted to reserve this so I can pop it on this as well I'm, I'm, yeah I'm gonna do it yeah okay crazy I know but we're gonna do it right okay into the next battle straight away we're sitting on a lot of cash but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Okay, I approve. Good poison build going on here. You've got the uh, cap of discomfort. Start a battle, reduce damage taken by 25% for five seconds. But then opponent gains buffs, 15% chance to, uh, and when the opponent gains a buff, 50% chance to nullify it. You are stacking poison on me though. Oh my lord, I, I really appreciate your poison build here. Not the fastest I've seen it stack, but this is a good amount there. And it's just getting higher and higher. I, we're probably going to win, though honestly, when you see poisons like that, sometimes if they've got a way of pulling back their health and just turning into a war of attrition, if you see the, the, the debuff stacking to that kind of levels, it can be a, a bit touch and go, but ultimately, yeah, we, uh, we managed to boss that one. All right, we've got the Corrupted Armor. Holy items are also dark. 10% chance for each dark item to protect debuffs in your opponent from getting cleansed. At the start of battle, gain 70 block. Every three seconds, cleanse two debuffs and inflict them on your opponent. Ah, dark items. Gotta love them. Uh, it, how many slots does it have? It does still have three slots. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now I want to put this in a very specific location. Problem is, don't easily have a way of popping it into that location. Uh, right, well, what I want is the crown over here. Uh, issues. I guess I could do this. It's not as good because this activates every four seconds where this was activating every 2.5. Still not terrible though. Um, so I'm, I'm willing to accept that one. We'll get those to synergize there. Uh, obviously want this over here. Uh, popping that in here, your healing's amplified by 10%, which is always nice. Uh, we could also have 30% chance on attack to attack, uh, sorry, 30% chance to attack health directly and gain one mana and inflict one frozen. Um, hmm. Or just if we gain five mana, also gain three block. I don't actually have many ways of gaining mana though, which is the problem. So it's not as useful for me there. 
Uh... Yeah, this is really more of a, a weapon thing, and these are not great on anything but weapons. Uh, that being said, it would be better on my Ruby Whelp because it acts a bit faster. Um... No, I, I really don't see a place to put it, and so spending the cash on it, not the greatest thing to do. When Instead, I could roll for more backpacks, and backpacks we have found. Perfect. I'll pop them down there then. I can shimmy some things around a little bit. Uh, we've got the fanfare. Every five seconds, randomly gain one empowerment or three mana, and remove two mana from the opponent, or remove one stamina from the opponent. Own, uh, the opponent and triggers 10% faster for each item in front of it. It's three long. Ooh. Technically, I could put it there. It does give me three items, but three items down there. Still three items. Is there anywhere in particular I would want? Ooh, that is a very nice place. One, two, three, four, five, six items. Yes. 100% yes. Now, it triggers every five seconds, so Steel Goobert is going to act a little bit slower again, um, but only one second slower, so that's not too bad. But the fact that this will uh, give me... Uh, triggers 10% faster for all of these items. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60% faster. I like it. That will work very, very nicely. All right, let's get into the fight. Okay. This will trigger on my garlic and the whip. Okay. We've got a lot of flame over there. Interestingly, not in the backpack. Not what I would have done. I would definitely have aimed to have the flames in there to maximize the uh, output of the fire pit. If we uh, just pause this for a second, because the fire pit over here... At the start of battle, you gain five maximum health for each fire item inside. Technically, there are only four fire items inside this place, which could potentially store nine. So they're, they're just a bit shy of half as effective in the fire pit there. Though they have very much maximized their uh, chili gooberts to uh, activate on these. That heart container is huge. Oh, it must be... Uh, yeah, it was just activated. Uh, also, their friendly fire doesn't have the maximum amount of surround... So it's, you know, a very organized backpack. It's just not organized in the sense of giving them the best uh, best bonuses. And, yeah, we, we didn't even lose any health there. For them to be in the survive round, that, that was an interesting one. They might be reorganizing their inventory, though. Not It wouldn't be the first time that I'd gone into a fight with very much a subpar setup because I was in the process of rejigging things. Uh, there we are. They might be trying out a different strategy and just seeing if it would work. Uh, let's see. So, more healing reduction on our enemies. Always love it. Uh, are there any other holy items I could have? Oh, that's a natural item, unfortunately. Well, I mean, now that we've got that, I may as well stick that in there. Gain a little bit of extra block. This would synergize with the rocks. Oh, this becomes a strong uh, stone skin potion, but it would use up both of our stones, so absolutely not, considering how big a part they are of our damage output. Uh, I've got some more backpacks. Uh, we've got the cap of res uh, resilience. Start of battle. Reduce damage taken by 25% for three seconds. And there's a 15% chance to prevent a hit from being critical and a 15% chance to prevent being stunned. Both nice things. We've also got uh, the axe, we've got leather armor over here, start a battle game to 45 block and then resist 3 debuffs. I don't think that's what we're going for. I think we're just going to pick up their helmet. Might as well just add a little bit of extra damage resistance. No reason not to. Uh, spiked collar, battle rage lasts a little bit longer. Absolutely worth picking up. And on that note, let's put, the, let's put the helmet up the right way. It just feels wrong to have it on its side. But uh, we'll also be able to pop the health potion in there. That being said, I could instead go for the box of riches. Because I can upgrade this health potion. I think that might be a, a worthwhile thing to do. Um, but the box of riches, though, 
extra gems, double gems. I have once run a uh, a Reaper build with three boxes of riches, and that was just broken. The amount of high tier gems I had in my gear. I didn't have great gear because I was dedicating six slots to just boxes that did nothing in a fight. But they maximized the output of my weapons and, in fact, armor so much. Though that was before some of the changes to the gems came in. Uh, they do work a little bit different now, so I'm not sure they're quite as breakable as they were before. Uh, let's just uh, pause this there for a second. How far off are we? I think we need three more uh, luck, three more spikes, and then that will trigger. Are we actually going to see that happen? I don't know. Many happy puppas. I feel bad. What's going to happen to those pups? They're going to go hungry now. What have we become? There we go. So 20% reduced healing on our opponents. Let's pop that in here. And this will give us probably 15% better healing ourselves. That is very cheap. Hmm. That is exceptionally cheap. Am I even getting to Battle Rage at this point? Not really. Um, I'm going to buy this, and then I'm going to buy this, upgrade it. We still need a backpack, but that is going to be great. Uh, there we go. I could buy this, slot it in here. Let's reorganize these. I mean, it's a potion belt at the end of the day. As for backpack slots, first potion inside, consumed, gain a random buff. Now, the problem is I don't have anywhere to put this one now. Vexing. I can't just over overlay things. Um, actually, what we can do, we can do it like this. There we go. Sorted. I still need something to put this. Uh, actually, I can do this. There we are. Double sorted. Marvelous. Uh, we could get the chip topaz. Um, I've invested in so many. It only costs one at the end of the day. Uh, do I actually have anywhere to put it, though? I, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. So a little bit of extra protection from stun. Not not terrible. All right. Let's continue on, then. Nothing else to do. We're out of cash. Yeah. Oh, this tea is delicious. The fact that it has managed to stay warm throughout this entire recording. Superior tea warming cup technology. Not building the bus as fast as I would like, and that vampirism is a little bit frightening. But I don't worry too much, but dear God, look at the health, though. Oh, you've got heart containers. Gain, oh, use seven regeneration to gain 80 maximum health. And two power and your healing is increased by 15% once, but it looks like that triggered twice. Still, despite having that much health, we've managed to pull you down so f That end, though, that... Went down so quickly, I need to see what happened there. So at the very beginning, uh, I gained Corrupted Armor, two Healing Herbs, Ruby Whelp gave me some speed, and I got Protective Purse, it gave me a little bit of uh, boost there. Uh, they gained 10 mana and 10 regeneration, lost 7 regeneration to gain 80 maximum health, and uh, some 2 empowerment, then gained 7 protection, 2 healing uh, sorry, four from Healing Herbs, which combined then meant that they... Wow, their opening was crazy powerful. That was wild. Still in their opening. My goodness, that was powerful. All right, but I want to see exactly what happened to destroy them. Ah, I got a crit. <laughs> Fair enough. 158 damage in one hit. How was... Ah... I see. When did that trigger? Uh, let's have a quick look. Where did that... There we go. So right here, I gained 16 uh, from Gubert. I, I was actually dealing a decent amount of, of uh, crit damage there. A very decent amount. Uh, how much was my crit chance? Does it actually say that at all? Yeah, 50% crit chance. My goodness. All right, that was wild. That was absolutely wild. But yeah, that, the, I, was, I was rolling the crits 
reasonably frequently. But then a crit from this 72 to 77 damage chain whip ended the fight in one go. That was very convincing. I like it. That would probably, that would almost have killed me. Wow. All right, fair play. Uh, let's have a look then. We've got uh, our healing's amplified by 15% now. All right, sure, I'll bring that in. Tonk. There we are, Float Sapphire, giving this a little bit more. Is there anywhere else I can put this? No, not really. That's fine. Uh, we could pick up a heart container if I really wanted to. Uh, every three seconds, you gain regeneration. And use seven to gain 80 max. I mean, if I had a place for it, I would. I very much doubt I'm going to get it. Uh, this is the last round for me. This is the very last round for me. So... I'm going to need to pick that up. I could sell this for four. Actually, I only need two. I don't need the box of riches anymore. No reason to have something which is going to generate more gems after the fight is over when the fight isn't going to last. Uh, when Once the fight is over, win or lose, we, we end the run at this point. So, may as well go for the heart container. See, no reason not to. Uh... Yeah, no, everything else is uh, fairly solid. All right, uh, I have moved that out of the potion belt, which is a shame. Is there a way I can shimmy that around? Is there a reason to shimmy it around? Um, I could. Yes, yes, I could. And the reason to shimmy it around is because I can. We do what we must because we can. There we go. You can go up there. You can activate a little bit more frequently. And this can live in the potion belt. There we are. Not the most, you know, super useful thing to activate more frequently. It's only getting a 10% boost, whereas this is probably a little bit better. But uh, I'm fine with this. That regeneration is going to be quite nice. All right. Let's get into the fight. Let's see how this goes. Are we going to win on a win? Or win on a lose? Haha, <laughs> either way. Either way, we ultimately win. But I'll, we want to double win. Of course we do. This is a very... Oh, a Crusader build. I don't think I've actually seen one of those in the world yet. Also, you've got Light Goobert there. Light Goobert, quite powerful. Six item activations. Heal for 20 and inflict six blind for three seconds. Uh, looks like we've already got a decent amount of that was there. But thankfully, it is timed. We have worked our way through their armor. They're still trying to work their way through ours. The blind is a pain. I'm not going to lie. But because of the uh, the impact of the knuckles, it's having less and less ability to overwhelm our accuracy because our accuracy is going above 100%. Uh, yeah, it's still above 100% even with seven blind. So it really doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull this back. But that being said, they've got a lot of heat and it is stacking. And a decent amount of vampirism. Uh, I am out of stamina a lot. And my health is starting to tank as a consequence of it. So, uh, yeah. It looks like uh, they may be able to take me out. No, never mind. Never mind. War of attrition. Very risky with a gin lamp. But, yeah, we were losing stamina because I was hitting their defenses. Um, so that was constantly draining my stamina below the amount that I needed for the chain whip. Thankfully, my other weapons were still able to engage. The burning coal over here was keeping us topped up with a bit of heat. But uh, yeah, it looks like exactly the same thing happened there. If we have a look right down the bottom, chain whip did a uh, crit and that ended the fight. Oh no, it wasn't. It was uh, brass knuckles that got it. Oh well, right after the chain whip, actually, so... Let's have a look up here. Where did the gin lamp kick in? Because it did kick in, I think. Oh, might not have, actually. The gin lamp may not have had the opportunity to. Uh, no, I think ultimately we, we won because our brass knuckles were just bossing. Very, very nice. We didn't... The crit chance was 95? Okay. Fair enough. We were going to win that fight, whatever happened. <laughs> At this point, in the log, 
at this stage, we were doing so much. We were removing vampirism, regeneration, uh, regenerating uh, health because of the chain whip. I'm not sure why that was. Possibly a battle rage consequence. But yeah, we drained stamina again. But ultimately, they, we were at 275 health at that point we weren't going to to lose when we were able to output that much damage though the fact that our dagger was still actually quite low on its uh, overall out damage output now uh, that was a little bit of a, a worry because obviously the chain whip was disabled a lot of the time still i think that was a pretty convincing run there we got uh, full survival bonus all five tries left and we are now in silver rank with 67 trophies to show for our efforts. But there you go, that was the Berserker, a glimpse into the other new class for the game. I really do hope you have enjoyed these past two videos. Do let me know if you'd like to see more down in the comments below and let Saint Algorithmus know with those lovely buttons. But that is going to be it from me and from Backpack Battles for now. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, do take care everyone.